Hello, what is going on guys and welcome to another Iron Man episode. I'm going to start this one off by opening the oyster and then I'm going to do the troll invasion after. So let's get a die right here, that would be very nice. That is one of the shittiest oyster words I've ever got. But we're going to get a lot of farming and fishing experience anyway, so I'm happy. Oh, I am actually going to get 93 fishing here. It might be the last tick actually of experience. Oh, never mind. I can get a bit more. Wait, from one more level I get 400 more experience every single tick. This experience is actually insane. Yeah, there we go. 93 fishing at least, that is very nice. So I actually don't want to book Herblore anymore because I can just boost with a green man's ale to 96 anyways to make overloads. So it doesn't really feel necessary to rush 99 Herblore or anything like that. So I think I'm going to actually book farming because I really dislike that skill. 54,000 experience, very nice. Oh my, g finally, okay, that is a crest of sorrows. What kill count was that on actually? Let me see, Vindicta. Alright, I have killed 381 for my first crest, and by the way, that is the melee armor. So I'm going to be able to upgrade a bundle's chestplate to a tier 80, which is very nice. Previously, the best thing I had for melee was the bundle's chestplate. So it's pretty nice to have the anima core body of sorrows now. Quite an upgrade, and I still have four more anima core bodies. Okay, so unfortunately I could not get a live reaction of this because I had my girlfriend over here and I didn't want to record it when she was sitting right beside me. But look at this, I got the Dragon Rider launch. Do you know how huge this is? This means I don't actually as much need the Noxious Sight. It feels so good, I can relax a bit on Araxor. And yeah, it was the one thing I really wanted from uh, from the boss. So now that I have the Dragon Rider launch, I was looking at my bank, and I don't want to do Vindicta more right now, I've done so much of it, but look at this. 8,600 Dragon Bones, and I'm pretty close to 99 Prayer, and if I can use all these bones on bonfires, I get fire making and prayer experience, pretty good rates as well, like look at this. 180 prayer, 144 fire making, every single one. And I have 8600 dragon bones and I need 1.7 million experience to 99 prayer. So I'm going to be very close to it after I've used all these bones. And I want to do that, I want to get 99 prayer in this video. So let's do all these dragon bones, all these 8600 dragon bones and see where I end up, fire making wise and prayer wise, it's going to be pretty nuts. If you're currently not even looking at the video and you're just listening, please take a second to look at the video. Is the quality just randomly better now? I, I, I was looking at my settings and I realized I've been recording with the worse settings than I could, so hopefully it is better now and from now on the quality will be better. But yeah, look at this. I am 1.3 million prayer experience in and 1 million fire making. This is so efficient and it's actually very fast as well. I only have 1.5k dragon bones left and I need 400,000 prayer experience. So I'm not going to get 99 with this, but I'm going to be damn close to it. All right, that is all the dragon bones used and I got 1.5 million prayer experience and I only need 138,299. But I don't really have any bones, I don't want to use big bones on the cremation, it's going to take way too long. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to alk some stuff, I have quite a lot of these large room plated salvage from Vindicta. And overall I have some stuff that I can alk to get money to buy the Seren cleansing stones, these ones, cleansing crystals. And I'm going to get 99 prayer. Alright, here we go. When this crystal is used, I'm going to get 99 prayer. Also, by the way, from uh, using those dragon bones before, when I got prayer levels from 97 or 96 something, I got 138 combat, so I'm now maxed combat, but that is 99 prayer. I'm not going to buy the skill cape right now, I don't even know. I think you buy it at Edgeville, like left of it or something, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't really care that much about the skill cape, but it's very nice to have another 99 done. Also, look, 50,000 to 98. So I'm also very close to 99 summoning, which means when I hit that, I only have strength and attack left 99 in terms of combat stats. And I just got the Dragon Rider launch, which is going to help me to get those up really well. I only missed the acid and the darkness path legs, so the middle and the bottom one, and those paths are currently open, it's very easy also to kill a Raxor on this, so let's get some kills done, first loot's going to be some herbs, pretty good actually. 
Okay, second kill. Let's see what this is. Some magic seeds is actually not that bad. I'm going to need that anyways for farming and my farming level is terrible. So to prevent it from being too much of Axor Clips, I'm going to only do a Reckless Aura every single day. So that's going to be three kills and it's two minutes left on my Aura after the third kill. So let's see what the last loot is going to be. <laughs> Rune Stone Spirits. This is one of the worst Araxor loots I've ever got. Okay, so I feel like it's time to do some skilling. I've been doing so much PVMing and I think I need to get all my skills to 90 baseline. So that is going to be the goal, the long-term goal now for quite a while. I mean, I'm still going to do PVMing. I'm going to put PVM clips into the video because I love doing it and it is really beneficial for an Iron Man to do that, especially Araxor and stuff like that. But... I want to get 90 baseline in all my skills. That's going to take a long time. But I'm going to start with divination, which is also going to be very good for getting invention to 90. So I'm going to start making these divination urns now. Maybe I'll make like 300 or something. I don't know how many exactly I can make. A lot at least. I'm going to make 300 I think to start off with and maybe that will be enough to get 90 divination. I am, as you can see, really close to 88 already. So I made 210 divination urns, but I had 25 chronicle fragments as well. And as I was already so close to 88 divination, that is going to give me it. I don't think I unlock really anything with this. Yeah, well, I guess the sign of Porter's 5 is actually really beneficial, but yeah, I'm going for 90 now anyways. Okay, so I'm going to do this thing again, where you just click on the thing in the middle, and then you're just in the core hunting friend chat, and you can just pretty much AFK. I'm going to though put a counter here for divination experience. I mean, it's 441k to 89, so it's going to be like a million experience to 90, but that should go by pretty fast. Okay, I've done like half of the grinds. I am going to get 89 divination here after I put this in. So I only need one more level now until I have 90 divination, which is really good because that also unlocks another type of energy, which is going to be uh, making my invention charge grind even faster. Alright, this is going to be the last jar I put in here in this unstable rift before I am 90 divination. Very cool to get that and I can now get the luminous wisps. So that's again, as I said, going to make the invention grind a bit faster to get positive energies and negative energy. Is this from the arc or something? I think it might be. Not really sure, but anyways, that is a 90 knocked off. Very cool. So I actually need some money, I only have 39,000 and I need to repair my Ascension Crossbow and my Chaotic Crossbow. I actually want to repair my Chaotic Crossbow with normal GP because I want to save up the tokens for a Demon Horn Necklace right now. So I'm going to alk all of these, which is quite a lot of rune salvage items, and I'll get back to you guys with how much money I got. I actually have like no nature runes left, <laughs> only 65, but anyways, I got 9.3 mil from that almost, so... How much does it actually cost to repair my Ascension Crossbow? 1.7 mil. That is actually not that bad because it was at 10% and I don't think it's that expensive to repair the uh, Chaotic Crossbow either. Okay, so it's actually not that many tokens. 8.8k. How many do I have? I have 36,000. So it's either 88k and 8 point... I think that's actually better, yeah. I'm going to do that. Even though I, 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 I still needed money, so I still needed to alk, but yeah, that was... Uh, actually better to do that with the tokens i think i actually don't have that much food left i have 50 rock tails 43 k fish and i mean i have a lot of sharks that i can cook but i'm not going to do that right now i actually collected some orange spice for once and also i got a lot of brown spice that is going to be very good for me to boost herb lore in the future but anyways i collected this orange spice and i just need one level really so i'm going to boost that in cooking and then i can cook all of these 770 blubbers and then i can combo those with the raw sharks i can cook after so let's get some cooking experience okay it's been really annoying but i'm going to get 94 cooking right here there we go and i've cooked almost all the blubber ones but why it's been annoying is because i boosted to 95 or 96 whatever and then i cook like 10 of them or 14 and then i log off and then i re-log in again so i don't lose the boost i have to do that now again at this point and then I can go in again and keep cooking. And I only have, as I said, like 100 left, so I'm almost done. And I have like 700 blubbers now in the bank, and I have like a thousand sharks. So I have a lot of food now, which feels really good. 
I actually made an attempt to get a 99 cooking boost with spicy stew, but I tried a really long time and I didn't get it. I, I wanted to cook my like 800 sailfish, but I got the fletching boost instead and I am actually really close to 90 fletching already, only 170,000. And I have 14k ascension shards. So I might as well just fletch all of this and I might get 90. I haven't calculated it, but it might be possible. So let's see if I can do that. I'm going to craft all of these and then I'll be back. So with 5,800 left pretty much, I got 90 fletching. So we get both 90 divination and 90 fletching in one video. And that means I can do ascension bolts now without boosting. So that's going to be uh, pretty chill. I don't need to make two crafts of 15 and then log off and then log in again and redo it. So I can just do all of these now. So yeah, two 90s in one video, even though admittedly both of them were pretty close, but still. Okay, so this is actually really exciting for me, I think. I'm going to try to kill Nex. I mean, I have the gear for it. I have a tier 90 ascension crossbow. The unfortunate part is if I unequip this and equip this again, it's going to say your ammunition will do lower damage than expected because it's a tier 80. So I can't actually make full use of the tier 90 ammo. But hey, it's as good as tier 80 anyways. And my tier 90 weapon is strong in itself. So I think, I mean, I also have full Cyrenic. So <laughs> with this gear, I mean, I should be able to kill Nex. But I haven't killed Nex in a really, really long time, and I missed the Saradomin part of the key. So I'm just going to get that now, and then I'll try to get into it. I really, really want the Virtus gear. I mean, it is better than the, um, what is it called? Saren gear from Helvir. But if I really can't do Nex, then I'm going to go back to Helvir when I get the uh, reputation to get 100% extra loot there. So hopefully I can do next and it's going to be an easier way to get the tier 80 mage gear that is actually slightly better as well. But we will have to see. Okay, there we go. I can now make the key. It didn't actually take that long. Let's combine all of them. And how many uses do you start with? 10. Okay, I think you can recharge that up to like 100 for a really small fee. So it really isn't that bad. I actually forgot, you need to use hybrid armor and then Bandos boots to force Nex into using... I can't remember what style it is, but it's some kind of style that does less damage than the other one at least. So I can't actually use Cyrenic. You're supposed to be able to use a switch as well to Cyrenic with a hybrid armor, but I just don't remember all of this. I'm just going to have to go in with this armor and hope it works. This is my inventory, by the way. I have no idea if this is going to be enough, actually. I'm probably going to take more of these uh, blubbers because they heal more in general and Nex doesn't actually do that much burst damage, only in like the ice phase. So anyways, I'm going to try to do this with this setup. I have full with sharks here in my pack yak as well. Maybe I won't get it on my first try, probably not. But hopefully I can get at least a few kills or at least one kill in this video. It is so close, look at this. I'm gonna die when it's 40k HP, that's so unlucky. Okay, anyways, it was a really good try. I would have killed it if I didn't screw up so much in the blood phase. I didn't kill the adds that much and I thought I could just surg it down, but yeah, that obviously wasn't true. So I will be able to kill this probably on my next attempt now, which is a pretty good feeling. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is actually my third attempt and it's going to be the kill. Uh, I still don't really understand the ice phase. I mean... I did... Uh, wait, well, let's first... Let's see what the loot is. Oh, restores and Saratomi Bruce. I'm actually going to pick all these restores up. It's actually not that bad of a drop, to be honest, because I don't have that many restores anyways. But, um, yeah, I still don't really understand the ice phase. I used my anticipation before I got imprisoned, and then after that, I instantly used my resonance, but I still got hit for the 8,000 damage, which just drains my food so much. So I don't really know why that is. I'm going to have to look that up. Maybe you guys know, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to look up exactly how that works because it drains really a lot of my food in the ice phase and it stresses me out. I mean, getting hit for like 8,000 into a 2k melee hit is not really the most fun way to die. So I'm going to have to look that up, as I said. So I'm actually going to end the video right here after that first next kill. I learned also now after reading up a bit more that you can bring a switch for the ice and the sorrows phase, making them way easier. So it is actually worth the four inventory spots to do that so i'm going to keep doing that in the future and i learned also that you cannot avoid that high like 7k hit from the ice phase but you can resonance to get uh, the healing like 2k from the big hit that comes afterwards that can combo you down and kill you so i'm learning things slowly and that's why i want to end the video right now because then in the next video i can record and hopefully get loot from more kills in like the beginning of the video instantly so that's what i want to do i hope you guys did enjoy this one and i'll see you and take care bye bye